Mariam just came back from school so in a while we're going to start preparing for iftar and we were planning for a ground sitting iftar because um, it's sunnah um, it's one of the sunnah etiquettes of eating so while our mom is making iftar you may go and watch our segments uh, our segment revive us sunnah So the sunnah act that we will be reviving today is about spending on your family. You can turn your family expenses into charity. Abu Masood al-Badri narrated that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Without a doubt, when a Muslim spends money on his family while considering the action as, a wor- as worship, it is an act of charity. This was narrated in Ahmad al-Mukhari and Muslim. So this means you should renew your intentions while paying family expenses, doing it as an act of worship, that is charity. So today's food from the Quran and Sunnah series are fruits in general. There is a verse in the Quran that says, do you not see that Allah sends down rain from the sky and we produce thereby fruits of varying colors? This is uh, written in Surah Fatir in verse 26. So eat of the lawful and good food which Allah has provided for you and be grateful for the favor of Allah if it is He whom you worship. There is another verse of the Quran which says, Eat from the good good things which we have provided for you and be grateful to Allah. So for our Ramadan food series, we are making fruit custard. Make the vanilla flavored custard according to, to the instructions on the packaging. Our custard is ready, so let it cool down. So these are the mixed fruits we are going to use for the custard. Uh, We are using apples, bananas, strawberries, peaches, plums, uh, and grapes as well. You can use any other fruit of your like and choice as well. Add the custard into a bowl, add the fruits, and some chopped nuts and mix it well until everything is combined then let it cool it uh, let it cool down in the fridge so our mother is preparing for iftar we are going to have some peanut butter filled dates with some chocolate covering So now we're going to share with you a quick and simple recipe of namkeen gosht. In a pan add meat, water and garlic. And cook it until it tenders. Green chilies. Add oil. And coriander powder. So our yummy and simple recipe is ready. So as I said previously, we were planning on having a ground floor iftar. Eating on the floor is also sunnah and it has various benefits as well for good metabolism. So this is our iftar. We're having uh, some pakoras with our dates and some grapes as well. To drink we're having pink lemonade and some water. For our meal, 
still were having namkeen gosht with some roti. So guys, it's time for our daily calendar. Um, today is day nine. Today we have these also look like one of one is okay. And well, these are quite big. They are also from the yesterday's brand, which is Garoto, I think. Um, I never tried these. Excited to try them, so we're going to put them aside. And we're going to see what's in this. So this is the picture. And this is the liquor of the day. So today's liquor is, O oh Allah, the Lord of the people, remove the trouble and heal the patient. For you are the healer. No healing is of any avail but yours. Healing that will leave behind no ailment. So this is a dua for someone who is a patient, someone who is suffering and going through, um, uh, you know, some sort of disease or health issues or something similar, um, uh, you know, and it's uh, asking for Allah to heal them and to recover them from their, their current state. The picture of the dead. And, uh, sheep. This is a local eagle. I think this is of the story of Hazrat Ibrahim salam, that he had a dream that he had to sacrifice a hundred camels and on the second day he had the same dream and then the third day he had the same dream so, and he thought that he had to sacrifice the most valuable thing for him and like his most valuable thing was his son because he had one son so he had to sacrifice to him so he told his son Hazrat Ibrahim Ismail about his dream and and he told that he had to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that it was a test and that they passed the test. So then an angel gave him a sheep and then the sheep was sacrificed and dead. So let's see the answer. So the answer of the picture is Ismail alayhi salam was the first son of Ibrahim alayhi salam. One day Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam dreamt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instruct him to sacrifice. The next day he sacrificed a hundred camel. The, na the next night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed him the same dream again. Ibrahim alayhi salam realized that this is a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salam told his son Ismail alayhi salam about the dream. Ismail alayhi salam was totally ready to comply with Allah's subhanahu wa ta'ala command and do as he instructed. Ibrahim alayhi salam took his son to the highest mount Arafat, being an obedient son, Prophet Ismail alayhi salam requested that his palms and legs to be tied in order that he could not wrestle and that his father blindfolds himself that he doesn't need to witness him. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam placed Ismail alayhi salam forehead to the ground and the divine miracle happened. At that moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a sheep. 
Since then, every year in the month of Dhul Hijjah, the final month of the lunar calendar, Muslims sacrifice animals. So I was right, and now bye. It was a very nice story, and, and as always, do remember to support and spread awareness about our brothers and sisters in Palestine, um, because as they they do not have any access to clean food or water, they are breaking their fast with some grass and lemon and. That is far from re being decent and this is also like a reminder for us to be grateful with what we have and where we are right now and with our stability. Um, so please do pray for them so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, can relieve them from their suffering. So see you next time. Bye. Bye.